Meantime, the Little Cottonwood Canyon remains closed tonight. Visitors and workers at Alta and Snowbird, they didn't get a private ski day this time. Today, they had to stay inside due to the ongoing avalanche danger. Right now, the avalanche risk on Little Cottonwood Canyon Road is as high as any road in the country. New specialist Jed Bull spoke with a University of Utah meteorologist who actually studied that canyon. Jed? There's hardly a better Twitter handle in ski country than Professor Powder. Today, he shared his insights on the slide paths in Little Cottonwood Canyon when the snow piles high. We are now, I think, pushing through 850 inches at Alta. It's an enormous amount of snow. Jim Steenberg, also known as Professor Powder, points out that Little Cottonwood Canyon Road, SR210, is bisected by 50 to 64 avalanche paths depending on how they are counted. Steenberg tells me the canyon road is closing more often this season because the slide paths are buried in snow. Our snow records are not perfect when we go back in time, but this is certainly one of the most epic seasons that we've ever seen here in Utah. Um, like I said, it's a great time to be alive. The snow is as deep as 20 feet in some places near the top of the canyon. There's nothing to stop these avalanches from hitting the highway. So, you know, people will say that the slide paths are greased. You know, there's no, everything's buried. There's no trees, there's no rocks to break these things up. And so they're just running right to the road. That can be deadly if there are cars on the road or people outside the lodges. The risk in Little Conwood is quite high. It's a combination of just the number of avalanche paths, the frequency at which avalanches hit the road, and the sheer volume of traffic that goes up that highway. The state works with the resorts to mitigate the danger over the years, avalanche control teams have used howitzers to trigger avalanches by blasting them. Now, they also use remote avalanche control systems from which they detonate charges. And they keep an array of explosives in the upper part of the tower that they can lower down and uh, remote detonate to trigger avalanches. That often means closing the highway because it's too dangerous to keep it open when they are intentionally triggering slides. So skiers and boarders must wait. I have a friend that flew in from Colorado wanting to ski this storm cycle at Alta. He had reservations at the Peruvian and he's been parked in Sandy for the last two nights. So this is just a reality of Utah skiing. Professor Powder tells me that he never speculates on when the canyon will reopen. You just cannot rush that work, especially when the snow continues to fall. For KSL 5 News, I'm Jed Bowl.